G'day. How are you doing? Hopefully doing very well, keeping up and safe. I am doing absolutely fantastic on this side of this. We're going to have a look into this Acer Swift Edge 16. This is a 16 inch ultra light laptop. And when I say ultra light, I was crazily surprised by how light this is. This being 16 inch, it is very deceiving. I was like, wow, that's so light for a 16 inch. I've been playing with a number of 16 inches and this was probably what I would say the weight of maybe a 10 inch or even a 13 inch laptop. I was like, whoa, that is so light, it's crazy. Now this does house the new AMD Ryzen 7 7840U processor. So this has actually got the new NPU or the AI chip built into there. Now we're gonna look at the different features of this laptop as well as temperatures and fan noise and the internals. And as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so let's skip to a different section you may be interested to save you time. Acer has put in a brilliant 16 inch 3.2K OLED display which has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 and has a fast refresh rate of 120 hertz. It also has a maximum brightness or luminance of 400 nits, so it's nice and bright. It has that nice deep blacks and nice vibrant colors being OLED, even though it has a glossy finish to the display, which attributes to the clarity, the sharpness and the vibrance. Though it does have reflections, which is typically normal for glossy finished displays, but because of the brightness and the vibrance of this OLED display, I didn't have any issues consuming multimedia or working on documents in direct sunlight. Measuring the color gamma coverage of the 3.2K OLED display, it resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 95.6% Adobe RGB coverage, and 99.1% DCI P3 coverage. Now, this is extremely high and is absolutely fine and perfect for working on photos and video editing tasks. The Swift Edge 16 houses the new AMD Ryzen 7 78U processor, which is a special processor because it is the world's first x86 processor that has a neural processing unit, the MPU. Now I actually covered this MPU what it is in another video. I'll put a link in the description below, but this MPU is to assist with AI applications to run smoothly and efficiently. This is to relieve some strain on the processor as well as the graphics processing unit that would be able to assist with AI workloads. You'll find them in tasks like Windows Studio FX, the Microsoft Copilot, Adobe Suite, some a lot of professional applications will have AI built into them and also gaming in the future. Looking at the ports, starting on the left-hand side, we have two USB 4 ports, so that's USB Type-C ports, a full-size HDMI port, which is version 2.1. We also have a USB Type-A port, that's USB 3.2 Gen 2. Looking on the right-hand side, we have a micro SD card reader, audio combo jack, USB Type-A port, which is a USB 3.2 Gen 2, and a security lock slot. This is a recording from the 1440p webcam from the Asus Swift Edge 16. This is the video and audio and edits can hear and see what the quality webcam is like. Now first I'd like to commend Asus for actually putting a high def webcam more than the full HD, which I usually try to request. So it's great to see the thinking of a lot of people in the future and also content creators. And as always, I am in our environment with Two types of lights currently turned on. I've got my one studio light turned on and also the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. I'll turn off my one studio light off and I'll see this adjust and you'll hopefully see this adjust. And the down light in front of me is a bit far away, so there's not much light hitting on my face. This is what I consider a dark environment. If you're in an office environment, you should have much more light than what I'm currently at. And I'm going to turn my one studio back on and you see this adjust again. It takes a little second for it to adjust and then it will just go straight and snap and adjust there. Now I find the actual colors is not too bad. So the sharpness is nice on this 1440p webcam. Definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this webcam. Put a comment below. The weight of the Swift Edge 16 is 1.24 kilos plus the 65 watt power adapter becomes a combined weight of 1.42 kilos they might be carrying around with you. 
There are two speakers located on the bottom on either side of the Swift Edge 16. And when I tested out the maximum volume of speakers, it managed to measure a maximum of 82.7 decibels. As for the sound quality of the speakers, it does have some low punchy bass. It's not strong, so it's not missing, which is good in the range. And it does have very strong highs and it is balanced more towards the highs, has decent clarity and acoustics. It doesn't sound tinny at all. And it does have a bit of a low reverb that I found, but overall, it is a pretty decent sounding speakers. The Swift Edge 16 comes with a 54 watt hour battery and I managed to get 5 hours and 53 minutes on the modern office battery life test on PC Mark 10, 1 hour and 43 minutes for gaming and 6 hours and 57 minutes for video playback on Procom battery life tests. Swift Edge is driving a 16 inch OLED display which I found from previous testers that OLEDs usually consume more power compared to LCD displays. Looking at the temperature and fan noise, when I took my measurement, the ambient temperature in the room was 21 degrees Celsius. And just to give you a reference point, my hand was averaging around about 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. Just to give you an idea how hot or how cool this laptop could be. So I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 36 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed silent at 35 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 39 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer. That's pretty much average use. That's tasks like office productivity work, surfing web, streaming video, and the hottest air around the keyboard measure maximum of 40 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, I only spun up a little bit, barely can hear it. And that measured in at 36 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 43 degrees celsius then i put 50 percent load on the computer on the hottest area around the keyboard measure a maximum of 41 degrees celsius and as for the fan it did spin up a little bit more and it measured in a maximum of 39 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 47 degrees celsius then i put 100 percent load on the computer and the hottest air around the keyboard measure a maximum of 47 degrees celsius and as for the fan noise it spun all the way up to a maximum of 43 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 69 degrees celsius i also measured the bottom back cover while i had 100 percent load on the computer and the hottest air around the back cover measured a maximum of 46 degrees celsius for the surface and of course it stayed at 43 decibels for the fan noise let's have a look at performance of the processor over long duration tasks this swift edge 16 is configured for ryzen 7 7840u processor and amd website reports that this has a base clock speed of 3.3 gigahertz now i've got a task that's running over for five hours that runs a lot of load on the processor memory and storage so that's running on all the system resources quite a lot of load here and i can see that the speed of the processor is ranging anywhere between 2.6 to about 3.1 gigahertz so that is below the base clock speed of 3.3 gigahertz now i do have the processor running at around about 72 degrees Celsius. Now this processor does have a maximum operating temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. So there's still a lot of headroom and it's just Acer have actually brought this down as thermal throttling. I do have Acer performance mode and uh, that which allows that the fan to run at its maximum and let it run at its best. But Acer have actually just tried to keep this one safe uh, by letting the processor only run up to about 72 degrees Celsius. So it's still a lot of headroom for the processor here and that's probably the cause of the thermal throttling in this light and thin laptop. The Swift Edge 16 comes with a full-size keyboard with the number pad on the right. It's nice to see Acer still include the number pad. It's very useful for business and professional application. It is a compact number pad. And I think the reason for that is to try and move the main keyboard more to the right so that the trackpad is more centered just to make it look more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and also give you more palm rest to the left hand. It does have large size keys with nice spacing in between and it's got good key travel being soft and also quiet and it also has a nice smooth surface to each individual key. The keys are backlit. It has three settings, off, low and high. 
it does have a nice a large generous size trackpad without having any issues of me accidentally depressing on the trackpad from my palm when I'm on using home keys if I'm touch typer it is a mechanical trackpad so it's hinge at the top and can depress as you move down it is multi gesture and also has a glass like silky smooth texture to the trackpad it is very reactive even on light touches i didn't have any issues with the trackpad registering any of my touches even with very moist fingers now comes some fun part the build construction now this Acer Swift Edge 60 is mostly made of aluminium. It actually helps with not only the lightweightness of it and also the structure of it. Now, it is made of aluminium on the back cover, the bottom, and also the chassis and the actual palm rest as well. So it's very smooth. And I can definitely see that the palm rest will be able to actually be very durable for many years to come. Now, let's do the bent test. Oh. Oh, twist you can see it's actually very very structurally strong here and as I'm going to do the keyboard now the keyboard does have a little bit of flex but that's because of how light and how thin this is but still very well it's got a, quite a lot of structure there anyway now we'll just do the hinge test here I'm just one finger see how smooth that is and it goes up to about oh probably will say about Ooh, about 70 60 degrees and then it grips and then you just give it a little swiggle and then you go all the way to what I'll say that's the full length of it here and I'll say that'll probably be about 140 or 150 degrees uh, that you get so that's the full length of it uh, for that and we'll just see how well this grips for the wiggle test now I don't see this actually letting go at all so that's definitely good to see uh, so that's really nice to see that that hinge holds that very well so overall, well built. Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the Acer Swift Edge 16. This one's configured with a Ryzen 7 7840U processor with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD. And here's the results for Passmark, Citibench R23, Citibench 2024, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Geekbench, Geekbench ML, Crossmark, Crystal Disk Mark, Procon Office, Procon Video Edit, Procon AI Machine Learning, Fugin Lightroom, Fugin Premiere Pro, Fugin DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Thermark, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some quick gaming benchmarks like F1 2022. F1 2023, Far Cry 6, Cyberpunk 2077, Bonza 5. Let's have a look at the internals. Before we get started, I just want to point out something on the back cover, and there is a nice little battery reset here hole, which you can get a paper clip and hold it down for a couple of seconds to reset the battery if you've got either ghost charging or battery issues it's a good idea just to give that a nice little hold down to try and reset the battery now we're just gonna open it up now as i always suggest from other people just go by the hinge to pry it open now we do have 10 torque screws now it's torque screw number five and i've pried this open ready to make speed things up now we've got the battery and we've got the battery connector right here now it is protected by tape again like i said you've got nice little reset button uh, little pinhole which you can press to actually reset it so you don't have to obviously get into this internal now right hand side of the batteries we've got the storage m.2 storage and it is 2280 format right here and it is protected by a heat shield which is nice and then on the just above the battery is the wi-fi bluetooth module here and we do have soldered memory so soldered ram so make sure you get the correct amount of memory as you can't upgrade it later on and then we've got the processor here with a single heat pipe and we've got twin fan system now how the airflow goes is it comes from the bottom and also through the keyboard and then it goes out to the back single back after working and playing on this Acer Swift Edge 16 for about two and a half months, it has been a joy to travel around with. This ultra thin, ultra light laptop it really feels featherweight on my backpack. And when I pull out the backpack and 
bang, you got this gorgeous 16 inch OLED display. I'm able to complete my photo and video editing tasks and I'm still able to play AAA games because of the new AMD Ryzen 7 7840U processor. And it's got the new MPU for AI tasks and I love to see how the new AI tasks as they put into the MPU for the future, so it makes it more future proof. We've got a good selection of ports, we've got a good keyboard and trackpad, we've got a nice high def webcam. It's good to see Asus put in a 1440p webcam more than the full HD or the 1080p webcam. The only gripe I have with it is really the speakers. I just wish they had more volume, it would be absolutely fantastic for just outdoor use. Else, Whoa, what a laptop this is, the Asus Swift Edge 16. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did and support my channel, smash that like button for me, share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.